Good morning YouTube. Doing the last of the fuse wires, at least the preparation work on my power shelf battery holders. That's what I did. This is one I've soldered the nickel strip onto the negative terminals and this will be one of the two packs that's on the positive end of the battery pack so these have to have the fuse wires only on the positive end and so what I decided to do was I used a little bit of adhesive and glued the strip to the outside of the battery case like this and then I tinned and soldered little loops of fuse wire onto the positive terminals here and then I have kind of pre-formed the loops, bend them down a little bit like that and then it makes it quite easy to run down with your soldering iron and just tack each one in place nice thing with this small gauge wire it, it gets hot but not not terribly hot it doesn't burn your fingers if you solder it quickly so you just have to hold the wire in place until the solder sets up yeah, and so once you get the uh, solder down, I kind of bend the extra part of the loop over. And the reason you want to leave a little bit of extra wire there is this fuse wire, if you were to just solder a straight length here, there would be so much heat sink into the strip and into the terminal pins that it would take more current to burn the fuse wire. So the idea is you leave a little bit extra and the more wire there is the lower the current that it will uh, fuse out or melt. So this fuse wire is 30 gauge tinned copper and I think the uh, official melting rating on it is about 10.2 amps and I've seen it quote rated between six and eight and a half amps if you were to to buy a, a six amp fuse or a seven eight amp fuse it would probably have wire about this size in it and this this is my little setup here since I have the uh, terminal strip already on there I used my little piece of plastic there to support it up on end and then I put a clamp on there just to hold it while I soldered it so I'm basically just trying to get everything pre-done on single packs like this and then I'll join this pack to the second pack and then I'll take the pairs of packs and then join one pair to another pair which gives me one 4S pack and then I'll take my third and fourth pairs of holders, join them to become another pack. Hey, good morning YouTube, getting ready to join uh, this pair of battery packs to this pair, or battery holders I guess you would say. I've uh, soldered my fuse wires, I make a loop between these two, two terminals here and run them just long enough to reach the uh, other side, and I've already pre-tinned that side, so makes it pretty easy to tack those down. You just run down the nickel strip and since I'm using tinned copper wire it's already to solder. Yeah, that one's right on the edge. I should probably redo that a little bit. Yeah, I think that that's pretty good. Then I can take my spacer out. So I use that one inch spacer. That just gives me a reasonable length of fuse wire there and then I can kind of preform the wires so I can squish them together a little bit so now I've got four battery holders attached I've got on the end here I have my most positive terminal strip with the uh, if you can see right down there the terminal strips on the edge and then this is the all the inner cell connections and I have my negative strip on the far end so one done I have one more to go so I'll probably do the the uh, wiring or the balance leads and then uh, I'll hook that up to the terminal strip and we should be ready to go so 
I'll show you what that looks like when I get uh, get to that step here. <laughs> 